On behalf of the General Conference Health Ministry Department, I wish to encourage you and to invite you to participate in an amazing weekend which is being planned for October 14 through 16, 2016, where the Public Campus Ministries is arranging a global event, an event which is going to be so wonderful that you need to be part of it. Why is it going to be meaningful? Because it focuses on a number of issues. It focuses, first of all, on your campus, where you are as a student, where you spend so much of your time, where you have the daily grind of studies, of sweat, of turmoil, of exams, of tests. On your campus, that's where you spend so much of your time. So, if you're a campus student, you're in a public campus student, or wherever you may be studying, this weekend is going to have special meaning for you. Not only is it meaningful for you, but it's going to have special meaning for the churches in the area where you may find yourself. In the church where you find yourself, or the churches that you may not yet even be attending, find a church nearby to where you are on a public campus and decide to go and be part of the joy of worship and fellowship in a church which can be a haven of peace, of rest, of hope, of joy. So think about it, your campus, your church, and then not only do you have the opportunity of celebrating your campus, being refreshed in your church, but you can be rejuvenated and you can be thrilled by the opportunity. So you've been where you need to be as far as empathizing, you're going to be energized, and then you can be empowered by getting out and going and doing what makes a huge difference to our lives and our existence. You can get out and you can serve. Do you know, it's so important. We think that our lives revolve around ourselves. Well, importantly they do, and it's important that you enjoy life to the full. But the only way you really can have fullness of joy and life to the full is as you share and as you serve. You know, the scientific and the sociological literature is filled with the most amazing evidence that people who have good relationships, who are connected, and who then get involved in the following two behaviors have tremendously improved health and relationship outcomes. What are those two behaviors? Number one, serving. You know, to get out, to do service, to share, to take an interest, to let people know that they are important, not only to you, but to the community that you belong to, and also to God, makes a major difference in your life. Then, once you have done the serving, get on with the issue of making friends where you can become a mentor, and I want to appeal to those who are in a situation and in the position where they can be mentors, even if they've finished college and they are in contact with students, become a mentor. Someone has said the word so beautifully, be someone to someone. Have you thought of being someone to someone? Where you can play a role in someone's life, where you can help them understand not only the learning nuances, help them with difficulties and problems, but where you can also help them understand the realities of life. And so I would like to urge students, church members, communities, congregations, to think proactively, to also for us to get out of our own little comfort zones and think about reaching out, reach out to our students on public campuses, reach out to our communities and make the difference. Be someone to someone. Try it. You'll be blessed.